All right, this video is to help all of you who are working on repairing a PS3. Right now what we're looking at is a 40 gigabyte model and it is the HH model if you have your PS3's model number there. It's like CE something HH. All right, what we're gonna check first off is to see if this PS3's power supply is functioning. And to do that, I wanted to test to see if my computer, if its power supply, was going to function at all with this PS3 to provide power to the circuit board. And let me explain to you how to do that. There aren't many good videos or tutorials on what you're going to be looking to do. Um, this, once again, is for a specific type of PS3. The power supply model is if you, let me fix my focus, if you look here, it's going to be the power supply model number EADP300AB. Right, so this is the type of power supply you're going to be working with and the PS3 is a 40 gig model. And another note is you can tell this is the, the 300AB model because it's got a 3 pin connector here on the front of the power supply and then it's got the two prongs on the bottom. It's not a four pin connector here, it's not a five pin connector here, and this isn't a silver case. So three pins, prongs on the bottom, that's the model 300AB. Now let's look at the pin out first and understand what we have. Um, if my knowledge serves me correctly, on the right side here of this pin out, where the three pin goes, you're going to look at power on, ground in the middle, and then on the far left, that's going to be a 5 volt right there. And then the prongs in the front, you have 12 volts. And behind the front, you have ground. So what I've gone and done is I have a 5 volt USB lithium ion battery here hooked up to the, the pinout cable, right, with 5 volts and ground going through the cable to the board. And then on the prongs, I have it hooked up to a Molex connector with the yellow cable being 12 volts. It's on the far right side, or far left side of your Molex connector with the curves on the top. And then I have it in the ground on the middle. And you can tell it's on. And if I try to turn the PS3 on, I'm still getting my YLOD. So, either my setup isn't working here at all like it should be or this is a good PS3 to do a reflow on. There you go. If you have any questions message me or put it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Alright, thanks for watching.